memory of a Royal Air Force crew who lost their lives when a Lancaster bomber crashed near, let's see what it says there, Regatta Street on July the 30th 1944 unreal now you might have noticed but we're in an old cemetery which has been here since 1903 and if you saw in the shots there from the beginning you'd have seen a group of people outside of it who were actually protesting to save something very special indeed which is the old mortuary chapel a grade 2 listed chapel that's been left it's a rack and ruin and it's currently in that state so I think we're going to take you inside for a little mooch see what history we can find Apparently guys, there used to be another little uh, chapel on here, possibly even a church at some point back in the day. So if you know any, uh, any history on that, then give us a shout. But if you look on the very top of it, I don't know if you can make it out, but it looks like a possibly, well I think it's a cross, but it could be an old weathercock, I can't make it out here. And you can just see pigeons flying in and out yeah and apparently guys they uh, they've dubbed this place well the local populace have dubbed it Rapunzel's Castle because it is uh, reminiscent of something out of a fairy tale I think I agree <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, wet down your hair. <laughs> well, we're, we're out of luck <laughs> if we're no stuck up there, aren't no we? <laughs> but we're going to push round now and uh, show you some of these incredible features from the outside before we infiltrate and show you the state of the place. If you look there, you can see the sign where people are petitioning to try and get this place saved 
I believe there's a few websites and uh, a chap who I, who I filmed before. I, did, I didn't want to get him on film because I didn't want to get political or anything, so to speak. But this lad, uh, what was his name, Gary? Alan, uh, Alan Whitehead he's called. He's trying to, well he's petitioning to get this place saved. So every Saturday, or is it a Sunday? Yeah. Sunday today, isn't it? Saturday today, isn't it? <laughs> every Saturday of the month, you can get down here, meet up with the people, the good people of Salford, sign this petition and try and get that beautiful monument saved. I mean that is a proper piece of history right there. And you just imagine how many people are buried in this cemetery. We've actually been through its doors. It seems to me there's a pattern of uh, historical sites just being left to rack and ruin. Like the old pubs that we do. The old churches. It's uh, Gary, come on man, I'm trying to do an intro here, you're disgusting you sometimes. And uh, yeah, there is a pattern. So hopefully with the help of this video, we might be able to get a few more heads down and uh, get a few more names on that petition, eh brother? Yeah. Because if we can do anything useful with what we're doing, it's helper cars like this. If you look there, you can see the old danger sign, which is something we're quite used to now, <laughs> judging by the amount of videos we've done. Just look at that, guys. You would have gone up to them steps back in the day and then into the, into the clock room you would have had to ascend through that little stairwell behind that wall through that door unreal so yeah you ready for it brother yeah, let's do it let's rock and roll man let's do it man just look at that guys you can literally see when you look up top where it or how it got its nickname, just looking at that it's quite literally something out of a fairy tale incredible let's have a little uh, hey up, closer look at these windows here just look at that mate that's the door you would have you would have gone in there straight up the old steps and up to the old clock tower stunning and just look at them windows there proper old school stained glass windows the old chimney there bedded in ivy absolutely stunning just look at that you can see inside there mate let's have a little peek in this window in fact, no, I'm not. You can see through. Hey, up. Pigeon there just, just came out of the uh, bottom window. So that's where the pigeons are infiltrating anyway. If you look here, we get an up close look at the old place. Absolutely incredible. And there, is the old entrance point that all the mourners possibly are church goers I don't know if they used to do morning, yeah yeah mourners I don't know if they used to have like uh, church days in here and whatnot you know but look at that old door man and if I just show you there we've got Gary there and if I just scale up, just look at the scale of the place. Absolutely incredible. And then down there you've got like an almost 
castle turret-esque roof unbelievable what is it? A bit of graffiti? Yeah, when people write their names in obsessed with Lovely. it. Lovely. No way. 1979. Linda 79. I wonder if that's actually been there since that date then. Could have been. Look at that. Who knows? R A D S. What? Yes, why is it? Give you a little shot of this window here, guys, because this one's boarded off before we infiltrate give you a look from inside but if I just pan you up there look at that stunning yeah. alright guys as you can see We've made it into the old place and uh, I've got to admit it is quite an incredible sight you can see those old steps up there and if you look just above this window you can see all of the foliage growing out of the guttering and then just look at this old door incredible but if I uh, take you just through here, for those who've never seen it, I think this might give you a reason to try and keep this place going. Just look at that man. The old Gothic Agecroft Cemetery Chapel. set you for a little mooch around show you some of the features and then perhaps some of you guys Salfordian people or whoever will get down here and try and keep this whole place alive just look at the work up there that's gone into that it's quite an incredible sight standing in here just look at the windows up there the detail on the stained glass if you look up there you can see the old chandelier and then just look at that down there man the floors are quite literally caving in If you listen just above us, you can actually uh, hear the pigeons nesting above, but look at that. The place is literally caving in. I mean, it's going to be quite a feat getting this place restored, I must admit. But if you look up top here, guys, this is unbelievable. If you look there, that is actually part of the old clock mechanism that has crumbled away and fell down and then if we look up here I'll try and zoom you in if we can get a nice focus on it look up there you can literally see the back side of the face of the clock look at that guys incredible so the floor up there has literally fell out and just over to the left is well, what I believe would have been the doorway you would have come into coming through you know where uh, those steps on the outside but standing in here now 
it's weird isn't it with the light cascading through Gary's iPhone has uh, I'm not telling you a lie here yeah, this is truth Gary's iPhone has just had a complete meltdown and I've been stood in here now for about 40 minutes trying to sort out the autofocus on my camera so some of you might put that down to something uh, a little bit spooky I'll leave that to you what do you reckon lad just by Gary's face then does it creep you out that or what brother it's weird what it's nothing go open very strange but, but if look, you just look here behind look at that for a sight guys you've got the old cross on the wall and then dangling above it the old chandelier as you can hear the pigeons nesting away up top I don't know what you can make out on this wood here but if I zoom you in just look at that man proper craftsmanship that innit Gary and those windows are quite incredible there you go look at that unbelievable but if you look here guys you can see all the old door crumbling away there and you've got the ivy climbing up the old brickwork you can literally see there where a frame has come out or I mean I suppose there would have been an old roof here and that wouldn't there just look at that oh wow yeah look at them doors over there as well guys unbelievable I will admit after uh, after coming in here and seeing the extent of the damage inside it's going to be quite a task getting this place saved isn't it Gary yeah. so if the power of the people does come to fruition and this does get saved and it'll uh, it'll be a lesson learned of what you can achieve you know when we all band together yeah, if you look down there guys you can see an old radiator which has perhaps fell from that top floor when it's caved in just look at the old door there you can see the old steel studs on it and that proper old school and if you look there you've got the old light switch I think if I pan you there as well that is possibly and uh, where are we? there we go possibly an old light yeah you'll have to let us know guys if you think these were used for pouring coffins about or whatever the stench in here is very very pungent the old pigeon fecal matter <laughs> but if you just look at K there and then we pan you up you get an idea of the scale of this place I wonder if that's off the old drain pipe or something if you look there you can see all these stones that have been carved out and I remember hearing Fred Dibner talking about stuff like this saying you know how long these things would have taken to to carve into that shape and whatnot you know you've got these stunning beautiful archways and I don't know there's something I mean even in its derelict state there's something quite beautiful about it you know it's like an ethereal kind of I don't know with that warm glow coming through those stunning windows it kind of takes your breath away seeing it just look at them unbelievable let's uh, take you out into this section which looks quite dangerous but there is no longer any roof so I'm not in danger of that caving in on me if you look through there you can see back out to the old cemetery but look at these doors Hey, oh, oh. Unbelievable if I show you out there, look at that. And then 
as we spin you around you can see those windows from the outside unreal I'm wondering what that was there guys if you know what that was on the wall let's get you around there we go give us a shout incredible isn't it mate stunning but how great of a task will it be if this guy who started this petition off you know actually pulls it off it'd be pretty cool man I hope it does. Yeah, I do, mate, because too many things are disappearing at a rapid rate, including the pubs, churches, everything. All these heritage sites, I mean, this is grade two listed, yeah? And then just look at the state of it behind him there. Grade two listed, and that's what you get. Rapunzel, uh, what's it called? Rapunzel? Rapunzel's Castle, mate. Rapunzel's Castle. Incredible. Just look at it, mate, in that light. What an utterly incredible sight that is. I know, yeah. Would have been three of them at one point. I'm so glad we've got in here because this is one of them that is just... I know we've been covered in the pubs and all that lot, but this is one of them that proper matters to people. You've got people buried here, haven't you? Oh, granddad's and granddad's are in here. I know people buried here. I'll yeah. probably be buried in here. Do you reckon, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to get buried at sea, I think. All my haters can't on my grave then, can they? I just don't know who shits on me. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you're in a church. Have some respect. <laughs> What's that anyway? Hmm? I've no idea, mate. We've we figured it out what it it's is. It's definitely not a coffin. No. I mean, you've got to be a very thin out. dude, haven't you? I Go on, get it's it. It's not one for me, is it? It's not, <laughs> it's not one for me. We need a, a specially, specially made one to, to accommodate the... Uh, <laughs> The, the expectancy. Extra, <laughs> when you do, brother. <laughs> Someone did ask me that one. So. Did they? <laughs> Gary, your language is disgusting in a place like this. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Look at that for a sight. Let's get your focus on that stained glass. Zoom you in a little tiny bit. And can we catch it? Just look at that man. Incredible. Yeah, I think uh, I think pretty much that's all there is to see in this old place. But like I said, uh, every Saturday over the coming months or every Sunday um, you can find it on the Facebook group I'll probably post your link in the description you'll be able to uh, bob down here and sign the petition to keep this place open and show the uh, the powers that be what can be achieved when people band together Good luck with it, Alan, and uh, nice one for watching, guys. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. And perhaps it might be a little bit of an happier sight. We'll give you one little cinematic up to these windows as the pigeon poo falls down right at my feet. And we'll say, take it easy, man. Peace.